Hi everyone, my name is Sofia Mikin, I'm 24 years old. I am born and raised in Geneva and I study currently at Ecole Hôtelière de Lausanne. I'm also a professional rower. And then Sofia Mayarkin for Switzerland. has taken the gold medal. Being a world champion is not something I think of a lot. I would maybe just think about it when I need a bit of a confidence boost. So this year has been the toughest year of my career. I've had surgeries on both my arms in May, so that kicked me out for the whole season, basically. And I was doing great steps at that time as well. I was coming back like really strong. And then suddenly I was, I was just out. In 10 years, I see myself. I'm sorry. Can I? No, I have to take this. This is a Swiss coach. Just one sec. Hi. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. This was a Swiss coach and he's expecting me this afternoon in Sarnen with the team. I'm so excited. <laughs> so where were we? <laughs> Well, it's super exciting to have her back. We're finally getting back to having all the girls here again. It's super cool that we get to start this project in an eight, so the more the merrier. Welcome back. Thank you. What is all this, girls? You're welcome back. Currently 6.25. Good morning, girls. Oh my God. Right now, I just want to go back to bed. <laughs> a little juice, a very necessary coffee, banana, carbs, and almond nuts. Motivation, one to ten, it is. Nine and a half. Whoa, getting better. Welcome back. And special welcome back to Sophia, who has come back from a very serious uh, injury. I have very exciting news for you. Uh, the president of the Swiss Rowing Federation, Christian Steiffer, has invited us to compete in the Mirabol Basel Hand Regatta on the 19th of November. So happening in about two weeks' time, so we haven't got a lot of time. We need to really get our skates on. This is on. This is going to be very exciting. It's a great opportunity and we're in it to win it. We're not going there just to make up the numbers. Okay, so I will see you in around 10 minutes time at the boat and we'll get straight into it. Last time I checked, the Swiss rowing team was renowned for good rowing, yeah? But what I'm seeing is unacceptable in terms of where we want to be in two weeks' time. If we want to turn up in two weeks' time and row like this, uh, then we will be out the back door. We will be so far off the pace, you'll be looking to change your citizenship to another country. Do you want to rise to the challenge and make it happen? Or are you happy just to keep going on in this particular, how would I say, average fashion? What do you want to do? So I'll leave it up to you, but we need to get ourselves organized, okay?
So my comeback was quite interesting. I have to say this morning was a very challenging training. Welcome to the debrief. I got a bit fired up on the water today because I was obviously pretty invested in us doing well. I was disappointed that we didn't execute as well as I think we could have. We were all a bit disappointed um, and so was he. He knows that we can do a lot better than what we did and he was really trying to and make us see that as well and we are at the end of the day the Swiss team and we are trying to show who we are. Of course we can't expect perfection in the first training but there's still a certain stand that you have. And I think we, we know how to do it, we just have to find it together. We're good to go. Okay, I'll see you on the water in 10 minutes. Okay, girls, significantly better. I'm so glad you took on board the feedback. That is it. That is the kind of movement we're looking for. I will see you in Basel.